Standing in a room full of water full of exotic fishes, talking to a camera. Does that make me peculiar? What's going on, guys? If you want an answer to my previous question in the intro, I believe it's yes. But because I believe it's yes, is why you guys keep tuning in, and I want to thank you all for continuing to tune in. Welcome to today's vlog, welcome to today's video, welcome to my fish room. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome. It's been a little bit since we got a vlog. We've been doing some fun videos. I'll throw some annotations up on the screen. Our mobile device, they'll be down in the description below. If you haven't seen our recent videos, Shipping Monster Fish, we did a Q&A video and we made a massive sponge filter this beastie beast over here up in this tank it literally takes up that entire tank had a blast doing those videos but when I do those videos and kinda of get into doing some not vlogs we kinda of lose track on some vlogs and you guys I'm sitting there I'm like crap we've been putting out videos but you guys haven't had a vlog in a week so it's gonna be a uh, quick vlog which usually means about 35 to 57 minutes just wanted to spend some time with you guys, walk you guys through the fish room a little bit, got a couple little different things that we messed around with, and uh, maybe have some more news in this general direction. I don't know, but um, welcome. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. So we've made a few adjustments in terms of some fish locations, added a tank that was empty and now has water in it, and I uh, just want to walk you guys through exactly what we've been doing. Over in the gorillas tank, we're back to only having gorillas in here. Um, you know, when it comes down to it, I had my Keeper Rio mags in here from Azul and Blondie. And uh, these guys were just getting a little bit too aggressive. I was seeing some split fins and whatnot. Check out these two, by the way. We'll talk about them a little bit later. Very excited about that situation. We took the 75 right here that had um, my mags to ship to you guys out there. By the way, if anybody out there still wants some, um, down in the description below is an email address. Hit me up over there and I can give you shipping quotes and all that kind of stuff. Just send me your zip code. If you send me your zip code immediately, like your first email, then we can think, get things going. Sometimes it takes me a day or whatever to get back to you because that's not any fault to you. It's whatever. Sometimes I just forget to check my email and I'm like, crap, I haven't checked my email in a day. I'm working on it. Um, so we took out the mags that I had in here. They're now in the 29. Uh, they're doing great in here. Just got this tank back up and running, took one of the cycled sponges that I had running in like the uh, internal filter that I had running. The only difference is you just got to do a little bit more water changes because you're taking the same amount of fish, putting them in a small, smaller body of water so you don't want that water quality to drop of course. You want that water quality to stay good so we're doing every other day, every two days ish, 50% um, water change. Did a water change on that tank today, did a water change on that tank today and as well as those guys. And down here we have our keeper mags who are being a little bit grumpuses, but that's all right. There's our big freaking monster stud right here. He's probably pushing four inches. Super stud. There's another super stud. Hulkalicious, you know, is angrier, angrier than he's ever been. He has his days, some days he sulks a little bit. And some days he is just a freaking sight. I, the fish doesn't even sleep. Doesn't sleep. I walk in here at five o'clock in the morning. The lights out. That first thing that happens is this fish right here <laughs> swims over here and splashes at me every time. I'm, I don't come up to his tank, but his first reaction every day is to come up and splash. It's I don't it's freaking crazy. It's crazy fish. It's crazy. got some mood swings and it's like dude relax bro like I said it, he I swear he doesn't sleep I might throw some clips in here somewhere of, of coming in in the dark and he is just at me already ready to go no sleep he probably sleeps for five minutes with one eye open he's just like make sure nobody comes in here because I'm like get him um but yeah I also got a question the other day regarding this guy like how long are you gonna let him stay in there Basically, as long as Hulk lets him stay, he's going to stay. And um, it's kind of a cool experiment to see exactly how long Hulk keeps this fish in here. There's no aggression between the two at all. 
Um, as you can see, they're both up here, front and center, just ready for food. It's one of the most puzzling and awesome things that in my entire fish hobby. It's been a little bit. In between our vlogs, these two actually spawned through the divider. I should have posted up a picture up on the Facebook page or something or a video, but I uh, just kind of slacked on that. And uh, like the last few spawns, uh, basically they laid eggs and um, a few days later eggs disappeared. Um, I haven't been able to like witness to whether to see whether or not like all the eggs fungus over or not or she's just eating them or whatever because they spawned on that rock back there which is very much close enough for him to fertilize at least some percentage but uh, I think she's honestly just eating them but uh, they're still doing fantastic I mean you can see her getting all riled up let's see took some pretty decent pictures of Azul posted up on the Facebook page if you guys didn't know I've got a Facebook page sickle man on I go over there like that page like I said posted up some pictures of Azul that we took with the camera some of them turn out pretty good so go over there thumbs up that page we'll get you guys a little bit more of these guys I don't like you guys missing out on too much fish when we do these updates They're just doing incredible, and I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Spectabilis, Spike, and Spectre are being buttheads. Every every time I want to vlog or do something, they're always hiding. So we're going to go over to their cousins over here, the Gorillas Tank. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about our awesomeness that I think the more that these two spend time together, you can see right there a little bit of flaring action. The more that they spend time in this tank together, the more I see them together, which is awesome. Um, I think we've got a pair in the works, and uh, I'm very excited. I'm just kind of let them run run their course. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a pot in this tank. Um, and I know I'm in Washington, but you guys know what I mean. Uh, by taking that clay pot, putting it in the tank, will give them sort of a territory if they do decide to hardcore pair off and you know pick a spot to spawn what they can do is they can pick that spot keep that spot and then you know for the sake of the other fish get the heck out of the way because um, umbies in breeding mode is not something to be trifled with even if you're an umbie um, a pair of umbies versus any umbie is going to take out um, some serious contenders but I'm very excited very excited she is just looking gorgeous by the way her colors in it, her colors are coming in fantastically his, of course, are showing up nice. I got a couple good pictures of him posting off the Facebook page. I got a couple good pictures of him posting off the Facebook page as well. But um, the more I watch this tank, the more I see these two in a similar vicinity. And it uh, gets me excited. It gets me excited. Love to have another Umbi pair going. They're looking amazing. There's our subdominant male right there, kind of our number two in the tank. Probably number three. Female is probably number two. The more I look at this tank and the more I see, the more I realize I don't have a whole lot to sell when I decide to sell them. So don't be surprised if you want some gorillas that, like, after I announce it, I'm out already because a couple orders is really I've got to sell. Um, so you got to be quick on it once I announce it. So let's check out one little last shot of these guys. Looking amazing. We'll show you these guys real quick because, you know, if you do decide to buy some fish, these are the ones you're going to be getting. There's a nice, beautiful freckled up one right there. All these guys are loaded up with freckles. Um, as I was pulling them out, I was like, dang, these are all pretty impressive fish. So, you know, if you want some, hit me up and uh, we'll get that hooked up. Send them out to you. And um, I think that's going to complete our vlog today. Um, didn't want to go super too crazy long, but I wanted to give you guys a quick update. Say, hey, how the heck's everybody doing? Hope everybody had a great day. Um, if you're new, you haven't hit that subscribe button. There's a button somewhere. I might put an annotation on the screen, link in the description, wherever. Hit that. Subscribe to me. And um, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, of course. And if you've got something to say, of course, down in the comments below. Always appreciate the awesome comments that you guys are always, always, always producing. I don't, I can't remember a negative comment, honestly. And that's just a testament to you guys. Um, on the push to 4,000 subs, um, I 
thinking the other day, I was like, subscribe, I haven't talked about in a video how many subs we've got. We're at over 3,600, almost 3,700. And, um, you know, I just really appreciate everything that you guys do. Hitting that subscribe button continuously, because there's continuously new people hitting that button. And uh, I love it, and I love you guys. And uh, keep doing what you do, watching the videos and participating and going to the Facebook page and doing all that kind of stuff. It's really awesome stuff, and it really pushes me to try and make the best kind of videos that I have. And I think the last week we've done a pretty good job making some fun videos for you guys, and I love making those kind of videos, and I love having ideas for stuff, and I'm blabbering and boobering. Um, could edit it out, but I won't. But um, thanks for watching. We'll give you a piece of advice today. My piece of advice is don't go scuba diving if you're going to fill your air tank with jello. Don't do it, because you can't, when you try to breathe in jello, it's just not going to work. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. There's an outro coming or something. And um, peace.